Well, good afternoon. Happy Valentine's Day. Your favorite little hottie bee. That's what I do myself. Oh, well, today is a bit cool, but not bad. I mean, it's like 42, 45, I think. And I did feed the ravens today, and they're very happy. I didn't film them. Oh, I'm getting quite a habit of filming those guys and Mr. Squirrel. You might want to check out my Willits fan page postings. And what is the other one? Uh, COVID, 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 Ravens and Crows and other Corvids fan page. No, I love animals. I like filming animals. Always been that way. So anyway, feed them every day. The ravens and Mr. Squirrel is joining in and they get along just fine. <laughs> that fun? Can you say fun? Well, that would also have been doing. Hmm. A few experimental things. Oh. Might be getting an electrostatic generator, re redo the Hutchison effect and get it documented and call it a day. Get that out of the way. I mean, I don't know what use it is. <laughs> I'm sure any advanced laboratory would have done it already. Uh, has been replicated by a couple of scientists, Dr. Soyland Sarge, is it Sarge, York University. And Peter and Mr. Yamabi. In Hiroshima, Peter and Austria, I believe, I mean, I saw some setups, collecting zero point energy, that's rather cool stuff. Other than that, um, my interests are in naval, vintage naval engineering, machine tools. Send me machine tools, please. Buy my metal samples on eBay. Buy my barium titanate on eBay, okay? Thank you. Yeah, gotta support me. Then get materials and things to build stuff with. Today is feeling a bit detached, like it. Why? Uh, I don't know. Haven't done my exercises yet. Usually do 15 minutes of intense workout exercise. Well, I'll get around to it, I guess. Then I wake up. Can you hear that out there? That's that little sound of crows and ravens out there. I used to open the window if you could probably hear them. They might be talking and they want me outside feeding them. Boy, they're smart little buggers. Open the window. Hello? Open the window to see if we can hear anything. They'll sit up in the trees and watch me through the window, see if they're gonna move with a bag of goodies for them. <clears throat> it's kind of funny. And when I go outside, they're all flying around, as you'll see in the, my videos. And they, they follow us from just under a mile away to here. They got their little listening posts everywhere. <laughs> and they do. 
along the uh, wires on the main street. I'll sit up there and watch. And there you go. I think that's crows. The ravens are a little different. They got quite a language of different little things. They're all cool. So if I'm filming the ravens, okay, I can get what they're saying up close, and it's a lot of whispering and kissing and other funny sounds they make. Some of it's loud, some of it's very quiet. That's crows having a, a murder. A gathering of crows is called a murder and craft gather gathering of ravens is called a conspiracy. <laughs> oh yeah, we I think we lost a raven due to his ineptitude of electricity he knocked out City Hall and the power to this town last summer. He made a lot of news. Fun stuff, huh? Oh yeah. Mmm, air smells good. It's kind of cool. It goes a siren. You hear the siren, guys? Shut the window. Don't see any animals out there now. Let's get this over here. Chair, sticky, sticky chair. Short on words today, bones. short on words hate winter I really hate winter I like sun power I need sun power I see how cute I look see I'm gonna work on these by getting putting tape on them and pushing on liquid I'm gonna self-operate on the get rid of these eye bag things. Hate them. Look like a disgusting pig with them. Well, it's just a matter of somehow sucking out the goop. Well, I'll make a video of me doing that? I might. <laughs> it might be quite interesting. It might be quite a long, boring video. By the way. I'll be boring it to death, you little kumquat, so. You wanna tie me up and spank me? <laughs> you don't know what to make of this stuff, do you? Of course not. You don't even know who I am. Just from bits and pieces of gibberish on the internet. Oh, yeah. Oops. That's one other thing. Loop it around this way. Wow. That's a stuff. Tough little thing.
Who said that? Oh, good heavens, who's up in the tree looking right now? Oh, a raven, of course. Hello. Hello. I mean, in the summer, I'm out there talking with them. They have regular conversation going. I guess people think I'm great, really crazy, man, but I don't care. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. My goodness. Hello, doctor. What do I say that for? Because I'm in doing words all the time. Oh, good heavens, aren't we silly? Silly Billy. Silly Billy. Oh, let's see, we stick you up here and still record. Can we? Oh, let's see. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Kinda. Does it still work? Oh, you can't look at me up close. I'm too ugly. Let's see why I'm recording now. Bit of a dangle, isn't it? Hi. Change position. <laughs> now this is going to be a very boring, very boring video. Welcome to John K. Hutchison. CFRBL2. Broadcasting around the world and in your home at 100,000 watts RF power. 78 FM on the FM dial. Come in, drop in and say hello. Our lines are 1 600 40 you, butter you. Call now and win a prize. Line two, you're on the air. No, 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 no. Uh, our show tonight is Why Do We Go to the Bathroom? That may sound strange, coming from a lunatic like me, but everything eats something, whatever it is, and you become what you eat, apparently, and you, then you uh, get rid of the waste product, is the bathroom. That's the topic, it's too boring. Ah. Valentine's Day. Any hotties out there that like to secretly have fun? <laughs> uh, see, I didn't, did I say that? I didn't think so. You don't mind if I have a cigarette, do you? They're kind of banned on them. It's not so normal to smoke anymore because of health issues. <laughs> You drop dead, you drop dead. That's a bad thing. I'm smoking, if you don't mind. If you don't mind if I smoke, do you? Thank you. Now, I was on the topic of bathrooms and radio shows. <laughs> Why? Because my schizophrenic, non schizophrenic mind. I, I free associate and go off in tangents in all directions. <laughs> kind of like how Ruth, is it thorium or ruthium or rentium or tin or it's one of those atomic elements. Salts form these beautiful crystals all over the place. Anyway, I'm off really going into deep space, aren't I? Huh? No. Oh, well, let's see. What else can I talk about? Okay, in the 1990s and that, I had a fun time with the Star Trek people down in Los Angeles, California, staying at Linda McLean's place. Linda McLean was, uh, 
Herman Zimmerman's lady friend. Herman Zimmerman was set designer for Star Trek. As you may know, I met Herman in uh, at Paramount Motion Picture Studios at the uh, in Quartz Bar. See the photographs. I took nice. Herman gave me permission to take three photos. I think it was three. So we're in the doppel table at Quartz Bar. And I had a lot of fun that day. Wow. Well, Yin, I was with Yin at the time, and she's a filmmaker. She has her own motion picture company in Los Angeles, California. It's called Maximilian Motion Pictures. Anyway, we were a night nice for quite a long time. So she had access to many people. That was a fun time. Uh, Ken Trollers, Dr. Rusher was with us. We got to meet uh, Dennis Weaver. Went to his home, Malibu Beach, a little cottage there, and Dr. Rusher and I went out, went swimming in the ocean, Pacific Ocean, and a lot of fun. Mm. Stayed at Ian's place, which is uh, Lake Malibu, Agora Hills area, and Lake Malibu, private lake was an actor who got drunk all the time. What was his name? Ah, damn it, Shelby. <laughs> Always had it. That's a famous, famous actor. Jeez, come on, John. You can't remember the famous actor's name? It wasn't Dennis Weaver. It was who? Uh, who uh, I was almost there. But anyway, I would go rowing out on that lake with a bunch of bread and feed the ducks that lived on that lake. I'd take you now too and we went to land on this guy's dock. He wasn't home. Ugh, almost had his name. Famous actor guy. Who else I met in LA? The Star Trek folks. I met Kirk Thatcher. Um, stayed at his home for a couple of weeks. He did Star Trek 4. He's a punk rock guy. Uh, let's see, it was Thomas Messer as well, of the Messer family in Germany, Messer Medical Gas Company. He sponsored me for making power cells, which they did for him. So anyway, we had a lot of fun down there, we went to the Bell RT house. I got videos of some of this stuff. We drove by, by Mrs. Roddenberry's house, and that's a friend of Ian Gazdeth. So I'm, I'm sort of going around in circles, aren't I? Anyway, um... Still got the facts I sent to Mrs. Roddenberry in the 90s. I met Michael Doran, Mr. Wharf in Vancouver. Yen gave him a bouquet of roses to give to Mrs. Roddenberry, which he did do and talked for a few minutes. I met Captain Kirk a long time ago in the 70s at uh, Super Value at Lynn Valley, North Vancouver. He's doing commercials for Super Value. Bill McDonald and I met him. That's incredible. Being a Trekkie fan, meeting actors and producers, it's really wild. But it back to Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles, California. Oh, um, I met Karen Black, an actress lady with a beach in, Hunt, Hunt, uh, I think it was Huntington Beach. Met up with uh, Jack Houck again of McDonnell Douglas Aerospace Company. He did two days of filming of me in Canada, Vancouver, 86. So I met him in the 90s, I kept in touch with him quite a bit with letters and that kind of thing. Uh, so anyway, back to Star Trek people hosting us down there. We uh, hung out with Larry King, who was doing um, stuff, and uh, Dr. Rusher's job was to ask Larry King a certain question, which he did do. This is all on the nuclear waste situation with the Soviet Union and missiles and abandoned missiles and all that stuff. I met the NASA group. Wow, I met a lot of folks who put up the Mars rover. Wow. And it did land. It was July 4th. I was with Henry Dakin, uh, industrial sky, 3220 Sacramento Street, where they had the Neolithic Science Group, who I met a lot of people there too, along with Ken Shoulders and Prince Alfred von Liechtenstein. I got to meet him as well. It was a hell of a time down in L.A., I must say. Wow. Luckily, I got some videos. 
did a couple of TV shows, Fox TV, Kiviet Entertainment Group, Robert Kiviet, had um, Jonathan Frakes, number one of Star Trek, he was narrated the show called Ghost Best that Everyone's Caught on Tape, and you might find it on the internet. They redid it with a woman's voice. Why that is, I don't know, but I got the original and some of it's on, it is on. If you go to YouTube, John K. What was it, John? Hutchison, John K. Hutchison Effect. 2009, I uploaded it. Uh, onto that channel, still there. I did the one with Fox Mulder's boss. Uh, Mitch Fleach, Fleach. And I worked together, uh, it was called um, Hutchison Effect uh, Fox TV thing. I videotaped it the whole darn thing as well. Um, not Unsolved Mysteries, that's on another one. That's fun doing that show. It's about a three day film shoot, and I filmed it myself in the car and then in the building and in the props room and all that cool stuff. <laughs> Another reason I have all these videos of mine uploaded. Did about 300 TV shows, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's just including news stories, short news stories, long news stuff. I did the Ark of the Covenant as co producer, but now we're on one. If you look it up, the Ark of the Covenant revealed, you see it. Anyway, back to LA. It's going to be a long, boring video, I'm telling you. Hi. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, Raven pulled back. Okay, so. Anyway, how many weeks was that excess? Uh, three, four weeks down at that location at uh, Lake Malibu. Hmm. So, um, that's where we stayed, and that's where we took Dr. Rocher to change her clothing after Dennis Weaver's home. She went swimming in the ocean, got soaking wet. So did I, but we went back there and got, Ian gave her a change of clothing. You know, many years later, Dr. Rusher stayed with us for a month in Gold Beach, Oregon. Isn't that weird? Wow. I got pictures of her and videos too. But jumping back to Los Angeles, back in that time frame, that was quite a time. Got to meet other actresses and actors. I met Paris Hilton, I met hung out with Steven Seagal, he's a famous actor guy. He lived on Mandeville Canyon Road, and I do have a video of that place. <laughs> Steven, i never seen him before in any movies or anything, but when coming onto the property, he looked at me and said, well, I see that you're on TLC TV, John, pleasure to meet you kind of thing. And then he said something about Colonel Alexander, and then we, I met Tashi Powers, a Vancouver Sun newspaper lady who was working with Stephen at the time. I met the new lady, a uh, babysitter, that Stephen kind of had an affair with, and uh, it goes on and on and on and on. But anyway, um, she was a snobbish little thing. Uh, we gave her flowers. It was Kelly LeBrock's house, by the way. Stephen had a hobbit there, a kid. But he had a lot of kids coming and going there. A friend of mine had Dr. Hal Pudoff knows him as well, as well as David Bond, who I bought my two Orlicon cannons from. A gun broker, he knows him as well. Stephen Seagal and has pictures. I'd like to see the pictures I uploaded somewhere. <clears throat> anyway, Stephen was an interesting character. He had in the house a Pinar Rampage who stayed in the house and gave us a, pr a blessing. <clears throat> kind of a private in-house blessing. And they would hold um, musical events there, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Tibetan monks playing a lot of musical instruments. Stephen was sitting in this chair there. I, myself, Ian, and some other lady. Chris was there, Chris Adela, Stephen's closest friend and friend of ours as well. I got lots of videos of Chris and I hamming up in L.A. Anyway, that was a, quite an amazing thing. So back to Chris. Uh, Chris. I filmed Chris. Chris filmed me, and we're always joking about the stumbling scientist, me, because the TLC TV show was airing continuously down there. Got to meet Paris Hilton. Uh, we had ex 
exchange of information, words and things. Kept in contact, invited me to her TV show thing. Paris's BFF so I was on that and I got pictures of it and oh blah 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 and some videos I managed to get off to download them yeah you're hot you, you are hot Paris <laughs> anyway wandering around in space and time there so what else happened down in LA I want to go there it's only two hours away from Vancouver I met Thomas Messer there I met Dr. Arthur Matera advanced researcher in life extension got his blue venom product out there I met Wayne Weinstock head of a company nuclear magnetics I met oh god I met too many people I can't remember all of them but I got lots of this on video I learned a lot too from these interesting people I met even a lady who was running for president at Mary Grace's place where I stayed and I got videos I don't have videos of her, but I got videos of the house and of Chris, of Bella. Oh, wow, that's going on and on and on. Uh, let's see. So I stayed at Kirkpatrick's place, <coughs> 1992 and 94, after the Denver conference. I stayed there, Ian and I stayed there for a couple of weeks. Got to meet uh, Chris Carter's group, a science group who would give Chris Carter information on science stuff for the X-Files TV show under airing in Vancouver, being made in Vancouver, and that's where I was on HMCS Columbia, and that's where the X-Files was filmed. Dodcom, Endgame, you can check it out, look it up, and you see the Navy ship. So I then, uh, Mackenzie, Columbia, Yukon, Saskatchewan, four warships, five years, great fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Anyway, back to LA. Oh, I met the X-Files people too. And was hanging out, dating uh, Scully's double, stunt double, Carol, Caroline Allard, who was then worked with Co-op Radio. Beautiful lady. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. And I met the producer, uh, Don Don, Don Monroe of Don Don Films, Shirley Ingram, who I met prior years ago in the 80s. 21 Jump Street and MacGyver, met all of those folks. Then, um, met her many years later, who worked with the X-Files, wow. Yes, I was on uh, Stargate SG-1 Studios, I met the whole gang there, and we had a lot of fun for a day, and I got pictures of that all over the place, too. So I'm bragging quite a bit, having fun. Anybody around? Nope. So I can talk freely. <laughs> Boy, I'm on quite a tangent. I got my little mind out of my slump onto a little track here going in berserk. But anyway, I uh, still can't remember the actor. I made a lot of noise at night and got drunk. This famous one down in Agora, Agora Hills, Malibu Lake. Charlie Sheen. Got it. Charlie Sheen. He lived there. And his son, I think he has a son or something. Oh, God. Okay. Um, <laughs> so years pass on, don't they? Two different TV shows. I love working with Michael McCardle. We did a lot of shows there in Vancouver and then on over into the Gulf of Mexico where I got to meet Richard Heaney and his family as well as Corianka Kilsher and her family. We had a lot of fun. A lot of fun and a lot of different paths and timelines formed. Wow, I'm really going on a bloody tangent. And I bet this is gonna turn into an hour long boring video. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Jeez, an hour long? John Talks video? John Talks. Wouldn't it be funny if this wasn't recording? Well, let's up upload tonight on stupid YouTube. Oh, should I talk politics going into COVID? COVID-19. Common flu. Maybe that's what it is. 
many conflicting reports on it. Just take your zinc and vitamin D supplements and you'll be okay. They don't tell you that, but Donald Trump did, didn't he? <clears throat> That's the only good thing Donald did. Plus deregulate some of the gun control stuff. That's good. Otherwise, he's an asshole. Sorry, Donald. I didn't want to go on your TV show. The Apprentice. No, not moi. Me? In a business suit? No. I don't know. No, that's one show I really didn't want to go on. I signed the release forms. Another show I was supposed to be on was in New York City and it never happened. It was Dan Aykroyd. Paid for everything. They shipped my stuff out there. And <coughs> closed the show down. I stuck with trying to get the production people to send my stuff back. What did you do? My clothing and vitamins and metal samples. He did send it all back. Wow, I was really screwed up, messed up shit. And just after that, I got on there with Uncle Art, Art Bell, did a, a radio show. Oh, that's weird. The other thing, I, and the other show I didn't make it on was Judge Judy. Part of the studio alliance with Corinne and that, but we never made it there either. But they kept bugging us. Well, it's called reminiscing. Why am I reminiscing? I don't know, because people are listening and watching and some of them want me to do it. I get requests for videos. You can see my uh, comments on my YouTube channel, Carla Connection, Ross Charles III Hutchison. People want me to do videos for them, I've done some. I don't mind. There's going to be a big video of the just Hutchison effect coming out. It's going to be professionally done. I'm going to at least I'm going to try and replicate it if I can. I, I don't know. I haven't done it for a long time, so who knows? It doesn't bother me. I need to try it, I suppose. Find the gear that I have one time ago. Well, that's going to be a nightmare. It's, Stuff came off of warships and the surplus of scrap. I mean, trying to find stuff on eBay. It was bloody nightmare. It takes forever. See, in Vancouver, I had many uh, the military surplus outlets I could go to. and Scrap yards. Tons of this stuff everywhere. Sad thing is, people put junk and e good stuff on eBay and ask too much money for it. Capacitors, transformers, and all this stuff. Oh, because it's special and old. Machine tools, the price of stuff is horrific. Yeah, Vancouver is an interesting town. A lot of films were made there. Still are, too. So when I'm looking at some of the films made in Vancouver, I'm looking at all the points on that too. It's kind of funny. Fringe was one. X Files definitely. We kept running into them, and when they were filming on the ship, I they wanted quiet, so I just climbed up on the superstructure and filmed everything around me. That particular day, several days, I was filming. Holy, and the amount of paint they used to bring everything down. Still got some artifacts. I have that uh, paint, and it was done by Shirley Ingram, who painted everything. Never had a crew painted. Dog come in Endgame, by the way. Okay, so. Going on, talking to Blue Streak. It's going to be a hell of a long, boring good day, folks. So yeah, because stuff was available, and where are you going to find uh, Navy ships? Most Navy ships had a deluxe life extension project in the 80s. Some of the 90s stuff, early uh, modern stuff, would work. It's going to be a bitch to find a piece of gear uh, you once had. <laughs> wow. 
just the materials, like part of my system was a, what they call a spiral spark gap, had a nuclear source in the middle with a stainless steel, non-magnetic stainless steel ball with a uranium ore in it. Where in the hell am I gonna find a, well, I make my own, I guess, so I can find a block of stainless steel. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take a long time to do all this stuff. Yeah. And countermeasures gear and RF stuff. Wow, I don't know. Kind of all long gone. After all, it did sell a lot of the stuff to Germany. There's nine tons of it, too. But not uh, complete bits and pieces, because they bought it on head and on eBay. They paid for it, bought it. But at the same time, I got rid of a lot of stuff. Now I met up with Nancy and I was going to leave forever, which I did too. So, I heaved a, a lot just in the trash. Gave it away. Some things I regret giving away my ZB 37 heavy machine gun. Jesus, somebody bought it, but what the hell? And some of the other Navy stuff I got rid of. No fun. Anyway, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to sort of just shut this thing off. I'm going on and on and on. I'm curious how long this stupid video will be. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you for listening to the stupid video. Gotta go, gotta see how long it is. And it did record, so it's gonna be funny to see how long this is. Oh, let me briefly show you what I was doing the other day with an old relic. Got these off a gun broker. We're taking you over here for now. Oh, well, there it is. I mounted this thing. I got four of these things. Four heavy Russian machine gun thing, World War II. Needs cleaning, I put oil in it. It doesn't seem to work. Let's see if we can see it. Press this lever. You'll see it. The springs here will elevate it. So let's see what happens. There you go. See that? Needs cleaning. I'm gonna put some guide pieces here. Just the steel rods, mount mount three of them down to here because it's kind of wobbly. That's what I was doing yesterday. Anyway, I'm gonna go move you over here. Do a little walk around, I guess. Think. Move this around, I suppose. I think it'll work. Come on, stay there. Still, am I still filming? Yeah, I yeah. am. Well, thanks for listening to a stupid video. Exercise. Remember I said it's an exercise? Oh, a little bit today. It's kind of chilly. Oh, I'm out there. A raving lunatic is here. That's what I'm going on.
Just basic exercising. Instead of walking up the hill. Doing this. <sighs> uh, let's see, what else do we have that I can show you? Thank you up here. How's an old B-52 bomber radar system, huh? I do have a countermeasures unit down here. Of a warship. That's all stuff from the United Kingdom. 25 Orlicon bronze gun sights. Lots of mounts here. Ha! <laughs> Ugh, God, is there a... Uh, this little mini lathe really works. Until I got my bigger ones running. <laughs> so this little thing. I'll get it done. Well, get her done. Making shelves. Making shelves. All this bloody artillery stuff. What of cannons. Here's this Orlicon cannon that toss off a ship full of sand. <laughs> Could be from Hawaii. I don't know. And that's all stuff in the crates. And it's all over the place. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. It's, I can't believe it sometimes. Yeah, all these crates, all those boxes over there are full. More stuff than you ever think of. Uh -oh. Oh, that's okay, isn't that, John? Yeah, that's okay. So, it's to be a long video. Getting this lab slowly organized, as you can see. Just in effect again. Got to get the machine shop organized, so I'll we'll show you that one. It's kind of messy now. Getting slowly that part done. Machine shop. Yeah, it's gonna get all the stuff running again. I collect machine tools, so if you got any old machine tools, send them to me, okay? I'll trade you metal samples for stuff and videos and things, okay? I need machine tools. I've got this door, this is where I'm talking to you guys. Is it? Here, sitting there I was. This is the back end of the armory as I call it. Cannon barrels and Orlicon's fit. Jam packed. 
are all kinds of stuff, all in parts and pieces and crates and things. It's totally jam solid. So those shelves I showed you, uh, well, some of the stuff go there. Ah! A lot of these cannons are in part. <laughs> All right, again, more gray boxes. I'll show you what a bronze site looks like if I can find one. Oh, here's a baby one. A bunch of these things. Put them up there. I got a bunch of those. Little box back up there. These mounts for machine guns. International military antiques. 50 Browning display piece. <coughs> More bronze sights. Lots of barrels. <laughs> Orlicons and pieces and parts. Cannons and artillery. Artillery! Well, another crazy thing. Wow, this is an old 16th century bronze cannon right here. That's really old. Oh, well. All this stuff is totally legal. Past ATF inspection and others and registered and checked out. Oh, no secret squirrel stuff. <coughs> oh. Where would I go? Uh -huh. I don't know where everybody is today, so. This is the electron scanning microscope room. Once Nancy gets that in organization, we use for testing metal battles. This is where I take my shoes. Bath. Oh, I gotta do my clothing. Computer system. Huh, more of the Hutchison effect stuff. Magnetic generators. Power supplies for magnetrons. Okay, I'm getting. Uh, sound like I'm getting boring, so I'm gonna close off. Thanks. Take care, guys.